This video will talk about how to construct more complicated queries. The WHERE keyword allows us to put conditions on our query so that we only see a subset of the data which satisfies our desired condition. For example, select first name, comma, last name from customers where country equals Brazil will return the first and last name of the Brazilian customers. Note here we are returning two columns, first name and last name. Also note that, unlike Python or Java, we test for conditional equality with a single equals sign. We can combine different conditions with the AND and the OR keywords. For example, select star from customers where country equals United Kingdom or city equals Berlin returns all the information about customers either in the UK or Berlin. The query select star customers where country equals Germany and city equals Berlin returns all the information about German customers from Berlin. We can negate conditions with the NOT keyword, so select star from customers where country equals Germany and NOT city equals Berlin returns information about customers in Germany who are not from Berlin. Often, we don't have a value for every column and every row. That is, there's missing data. This is represented in SQL by setting the value of the missing field to null. We can test for null in our queries, so select star from customers where fax is not null returns information about all customers who have a fax machine. Sometimes it's useful to return the results in sorted order. The order by keywords enable this. For example, the query select name comma milliseconds from tracks order by milliseconds will pull out the name and milliseconds column from the tracks table and use the milliseconds column to sort the results. The smallest value, that is the shortest track, is returned first and the largest value or longest track is last. This order can be flipped with the desk keyword, which stands for descending. The query select name comma milliseconds from tracks order by milliseconds descending will return the longest track first and the shortest last. The opposite to descending is ascending, which will ensure results are sorted smallest to biggest. It's also possible to sort on multiple columns. For example, take the query select star from customers order by country. Since there are many customers from the same country, we'll end up with customers from the same country displayed in arbitrary order. We might want to sort on some other key within each country, for example, city or postcode. We can achieve this with the order by keyword by passing two column names. So select star from customers order by country comma city will return customer information sorted on the basis of country first, then city. The sorting here is alphabetical. The descending and ascending keywords can be applied to each column separately, so we can list countries A to Z and cities Z to A if we want. There are SQL functions for dealing with numeric data. The max and min functions work as you'd expect. For example, the query select min unit price from tracks returns a single number the minimum unit price that appears in the tracks table. The functions count, average, and sum also work as you'd expect for columns of numeric data. For example, the query select count unit price from product, where unit price is less than 20, will return a single number. In this case, the number of products with unit price less than 20. Sum would return the sum of all the prices, and AVG or average would return the average price. These functions can be duplicated using Python commands like len or sum on the list of objects returned by fetch all. Computing some things, like say median or skewness, might be easier to achieve in Python than SQL, for example. For numeric data, we can find records in a particular range using greater than and less than operators. For example, select count milliseconds from tracks, where milliseconds is greater than 120,000 and less than or equal to 180,000, will return the number of tracks between 2 and 3 minutes long. Alternatively, there is a specific keyword for this, which is between. This query, select count milliseconds from tracks, where milliseconds is between 120,000 and 180,000 is equivalent to the previous query and returns the same data. In particular, between is inclusive of the values at the end of the range. For both numeric and non-numeric data, the keyword in can also be used to specify a range. For example, the query select star from customers where city in Berlin or London returns customer information about customers from Berlin and London. The SQL in keyword works basically like Python's in keyword and is a good way to avoid typing a lot of ands. One of the most powerful SQL keywords is like. It allows us to perform pattern matching using regular expressions. For example, the query select star from tracks where name like a percent selects every track whose name starts with an A. The percent sign represents zero, one, or multiple characters. It's very similar to the star operator in Python or Linux regular expressions. So C percent matches C, C++, C sharp, Christmas, and note also that these patterns are case sensitive. Another wildcard is the underscore. The underscore represents exactly one character, which means that the query select star from tracks where name like C underscore will return tracks whose names are exactly two characters and begin with capital C. 
the percent and underscore operators can be used multiple times and combined to match complicated patterns. For example, the query here with three underscores will find track names exactly three characters long. The pattern percent other percent will match the words other, bother, others, bothers, another, and so on. These wildcards can be very useful for subsetting tables. Note that queries can be nested. That is, the result of one query can be used as input for another one. For example, take the query shown here. The inner part, select max milliseconds from tracks, will return the length of the longest track. Then select star from tracks, where milliseconds equals the subquery, will execute using the value that was returned by the first query. So the track information for the longest track or tracks is returned. The keywords exist, any and all can be useful when using subqueries. The exist keywords test for the existence of any record in a subquery. The exist operator returns true if the subquery returns one or more records. The any keyword returns true if any of the subquery values meet the condition, and the all keyword returns true if, any of the, if all of the subquery values meet the condition. For example, the query select title from albums where exists, and then the subquery select album ID from tracks where albums.album ID is tracks.album ID and milliseconds greater than 600,000. That mouthful returns a list of albums with at least one five minute track. Pause and make sure you understand why. Note that, just as in Python, in the subquery, we have to specify both the table and the column, joining them by a dot in the subquery. Otherwise, album ID would be ambiguous. It could refer to the album ID column in the albums table or in the tracks table. Finally, let's look at the group by keyword, which puts the selected groups of rows into summary rows indexed by the values of one or more columns. For example, to get the number of customers in each country, we would execute the query select count country, count customer ID from customers and group by country. So for every row in the table in the same country, the count function is executed. You could think of it as making temporary tables where all the elements in each temporary table have the same country value. The result is a list of countries with the number of customers in each. The general syntax for group by is to select column one and then apply some aggregate function on another column from a table and then group by column one, column two, where the aggregate function is usually one of count, average, sum, max or min. Thus, the second column is usually numeric data. When grouping by multiple columns, the groups have the same value for both columns. For example, the same country and city like Cambridge UK and Cambridge USA. We can filter the resulting groups using the having keyword, which works just like the where keyword. For example, the query select country, comma, count customer ID from customers, group by country, having count customer ID less than two, lists the countries where there is only a single customer.